You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about LeBron James here in this video. The 2022 2023 NBA season is not going very good for one LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. They are under 500 yet again, just like they finished uh, last season. And also last season, LeBron James also had a movie come out called Space Jam, A New Legacy, which was a remake or maybe even a sequel. I don't even know of the original one that came out in 1995 with Michael Jordan. That movie lost money. Well, guys, LeBron James also put out another movie. And guys, I didn't even know this movie was out yet, to tell you the truth. I believe the movie came out on January 13th, and I'm talking about House Party, another remake of a classic from 1990. Now, the original House Party, I love that movie. The first two House Party movies were great. However, guys, it's the same old story when it comes to LeBron James making movies. This movie is a disaster. Look at this, guys, on Rotten Tomatoes. The critics, the shill media, they hate this movie. The audience, they don't like it either. This thing is certified rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. The media can't even protect this movie right here. And this is LeBron James. He wants to make movies and he's losing just like he's losing a whole bunch of uh, basketball games as well. Now, the box office, I believe the movie's made like $8 million or something like that. That's pretty much it. Now, I actually did see the trailer when I went to see Avatar Way of Water. And I watched the trailer and I was like, yeah, this looks pretty bad right here. I think it's going to be a bust. And it looks like I was right. Look at some of these uh, uh, reviews here from uh, the critics here. Uh, Richard Roper, filled with celebs and unfunny gats. The bash at LeBron James's ma mansion ends up feeling more exhausting than exciting. Another one here. It says, um, like any uh, ragger gone south, the buzz is fun early on until it's suddenly too much. The house is overrun and the room starts spinning. Uh, James's heart and hangups might be in the right place. But unless you've got nothing else going on this weekend, this house party is one to skip. Uh, the filmmakers seem to value fame over fun, recognition over reliability. And the media, if they're crushing this thing like this, a uh, 33% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, that's saying something right there. But also over here on IMDb, this thing has a 4.5 out of 10 and a whole bunch of one star ratings here. And the reviews here. Let's see what the uh, the users are actually saying about this thing. It says right here, awful, not funny. Foreclose this property. House Party is a cultural, significant, classic film full of amazing music, great casting, a touching story and a promise of maturity. This 30 year old reboot has none of that. No one in this movie is likable. Nothing about this movie is funny and there is zero redemp redemption for the story or characters. Uh, the the premise is dumb. The acting is weak and the direction is a perfect example of why black cinema can never get off the ground. This is not only possible, possibly the worst reboot of all time. It is also without a doubt one of the worst. <laughs> I'm laughing. Guys. This is also one of the worst films of all time. They try to spice this one up with the occasional callback or a cameo, but there is no saving this film. In the end, it feels like. An on-demand movie. Wow. <laughs> but anyone who paid for this would be expected a refund. I don't know who signed off on this, but it is 100% trash. A one out of 10 on that. Uh, the new house party isn't good enough. Four out of 10 uh, fails to capture the magic of the original. I'm, it was never going to capture the magic of the original one. Not at all. Uh, one word to to describe this movie is horrible. There's just not not enough to it. It says there uh, needs more party, 
less cheese. Uh, this one here says not awful, but not great either. Now, over here on Collider, they did a review on this on January 13th. House party review. This party is a bus. Wow. LeBron James's movie is getting destroyed. Destroyed by everybody. Nobody likes this. And honestly, guys, this is from um, Cinema Blend a, a week ago. House Party flops as Avatar The Way of Water wins the box office again. And Avatar The Way of Water, over $2 billion. House Party debuted to $3.9 million. That's it. Number six. And the box office is pretty weak. That Megan movie I heard is pretty good. I may have to check that out. Puss in Boots, A Man Called Otto, Plane, then House Party. Yeah, that was it. What a disaster by one LeBron James, another movie he's put out that has flopped. I don't know the budget of this movie. I actually tried to figure it out, tried to find it, couldn't find it. Um, I'm wondering if this thing is going to lose money. I'm just curious. What kind of budget did this movie have? No way in hell was it actually going to capture the magic of the original. Uh, LeBron James, you need to come up with some original stuff, man. Try, stop trying to piggyback off of the names of previous legacy films because it just ain't working out for you. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.